Okay, there's a monster named after them, kids and adults adore them. And they're great to have at Halloween parties. What am I talking about? Cookies, of course. And today we're welcoming back to the show Mom on the Run, Colleen Burns, who has five kids and is a former national TV news journalist. Today she's helping us with some recipe ideas and decorating tips as part of our Enchanted Halloween special. Welcome back. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Sweet segment here. I love this. Oh, me too. Look at all these wonderful cookies. And I'm like you. I love making cookies at home with the girls. What do you all do? Oh, we love to make cookies almost as much as we love to eat them. And of course, as you mentioned, I have lots of helpers at home. Our favorite are the peanut butter cookies where the kids push down the chocolate kiss into the center of them. Oh. And then these mini moon pies oh, where you take little chocolate cookies and you put a marshmallow in between and then when you warm them up you squish them down. Just do the this. Kids, oh exactly. <laughs> and the kids love to participate. That's why when we're over the holidays we generally make sugar cookies. And to get right to that fun part of decorating I oftentimes will go get store bought cookies and then just bring them home and just start decorating right away. Okay. Loft House is one of my favorite brands. The reason I love them is because they're really soft. They have a homemade taste to them which is wonderful. And you can find them just about everywhere. They're at Super Walmart and they're also at Kroger. And they're great for parties. I've actually taken them to parties and you, normally they, these are the best ones, the sugar with the icing on top. I love these, but what makes this cookie, let's say better than the other ones? You know, you love Loft House. I like it too. What's so special? Well, what's great is originally they were made from an old family recipe. Oh. And now they're the third largest cookie brand in supermarkets. So you find them everywhere. We talked about the sugar cookies, the, the decorated ones you can bring to, right to parties. They also have a wonderful snickerdoodle cookie with the cinnamon sugar this on the top. Here. My kids love that. And I've tried to make them at home. They're not nearly as that, good. That, Those are wonderful. And so, um, and what? you know, you can find them just about everywhere. So they're, they're a great variety of different cookies that you can find at certain times of the year, over the holidays and over Halloween. And we got something special going Going on. We're going to be talking about the ultimate holiday cookie decorating contest. Ladies, listen up. This is awesome. Take it away. $2,500 oh. in cash is at stake, and that's a good amount of money over the holidays, especially in this economy. So channel that inner creativity. Get some unfrosted loft house cookies. They can be the sugar cookies. They can be snickerdoodles. Okay. Go ahead, decorate them as you wish, and take a picture of them along with a picture of yourself and send it in along with a description of how you decorated the cookies. The winner will be announced on an upcoming show, and we'll also recreate the show on it. Uh, the cookie on air. And you'll get $2,500. Yes. So Love go this. to the website. It's thebalancingact.com slash cookie. And you can enter your picture and your description then. Maybe I'll do it too. <laughs> All right. So let's show them some tips. You got some nice little tips for us this morning. We got yes. some... So give you a little helping hand to get you started in the right direction. One tip is sprinkles are always fun, but they don't always stick where they should. So right. go ahead and use a paintbrush and some light corn syrup, and that way you can paint oh. on the design or the pattern that you want. And then you go ahead and dust with the colored sugar or the sprinkles, and you tap, tap off the excess, but it will really stick where it should stick that way. And this is fun for the family. I mean, my girls can do this. Oh, yes. Kids love to paint. It's kind of like an art project and baking at the same time. And now this one is to go ahead and take an unfrosted cookie and put some frosting on top. Okay. And then use the tines of a fork to create a pattern. You can really use anything, but this is just a suggestion. Oh, that's cool. Because it's a really easy way to just create a different pattern. And then a third suggestion would be to use a clear extract, almond or vanilla, add some a couple drops of food coloring and okay. you create a glaze. You paint the cookie and it, it becomes shiny and, and pretty when you put it in the oven. You do this before you cook. And then it also has that nice taste because it has the extract in it. And kids love color. I can see kids loving this and it's easy. It is easy and this is, I mean, obviously there are so many things you can do with cookies, with decorations, with frosting and sprinkles. So really just let yourself go crazy. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm gonna do some with my kids for Halloween and don't forget that contest, right? Exactly. Are you gonna divvy it up and try it? Oh, sure. Oh, I'm gonna lose against you. <laughs> You're the expert. No, I don't know. Maybe I'll have my kids enter. That might be kind of fun. Thank you so much. You. And if you want to purchase your undecorated loft house cookies, you can go to Walmart, Supercenter, Kroger, Food Lion, Winn Dixie, and many other local grocery stores near you. And don't forget to enter that contest on our website at thebalancingact.com slash cookie. And if you want to see all the varieties available, go to lofthousecookies.com. Calm. Remember, $2,500. That sounds awesome. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's keep on doing this. Okay. What do I get to eat? <laughs>